with you, and, and I am I, I'm so happy to have you as our. If you keep doing what you've been doing, I'll be even happier. But this is my my, my question for you, and, and uh, an encouragement actually. When you talked about what what is what is our defense? It is education. It's having enough food. It's having good work that you get paid enough money to to do so that you can live a good life. And. So, but we all know we're all under this, this military industrial complex. And I'm sure that people at Cole Morgan would be as happy building windmills and water turbines as they are making parts for the drone missiles. But they don't get money for that. So I wonder if you could, could do something in Congress to shift the, the terminology from uh, military spending to defense spending that would fund those kinds of things so that we wouldn't be under this weight of, of the military money that is stealing from us all. So, thank you. No, you know what I've always I, I thought of doing is introducing a bill that would uh, change the name of the Defense Department back to what it was, the War Department. Yes. yes. Uh, because I, 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 you know, it, you know it's, it's, the word defense sounds kind of harmless. You know, like it, we're just, we're just we're, we're protected. Um, but really, you know, it's about war, and um, and you know, um, and, and and I don't, and I think all this war spending has undermined our national security. I, I do a lot of work not only in uh, domestic feeding and hunger issues, but international issues. I, I'm the author of a program called the Georgia Governor Robert Gold Food Association Program, which basically, uh, you know, kind of shorthand is that it provides uh, for children uh, at least one nutritious meal a day in a school setting and provides for, you know, the, the basis for these, these uh, school feeding programs to become self-sufficient. But I, 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 I remember I visited one in, um, in a, in a uh, uh, displaced persons community in Columbia uh, when George Bush was president. And um, this young mother came up to us with her 11-year-old son and she said, I want to thank you and the ambassador and the people of the United States for this program. And she said, I'm going to tell you why, because I, we live in this slum. There's nothing here. Um, there's, no, it, it, there's not even dirt to plant anything. It's just uh, on the, and, and this kind of ledge, and people have all been uh, displaced because of the violence in Colombia. And she said, you know, every day one of the armed actors comes through here. One day it's the FARC and the guerrillas, it's, and, and the next day it's the right-wing paramilitaries. They always approach me, this 11-year-old boy's mother, and they say, give me your son. Let him join us. We'll give them a gun, let them join our armed, you know, uh, our activities here, and we will promise you one thing, and that is we will give them a meal every day, which is something that you cannot do. And she said, I have wrestled with whether or not to, to do that. And she said, now I don't have to do it. Now my son is being fed uh, in a nutritious way, and he's learning to read and to write, and he will, I believe, get out of this slum, and I will never, ever forget that. So I told the ambassador, uh, Ann Patterson, that she Cable that back to the State Department. Hey, this is really powerful. And she did, and I saw the cable, and then George Bush cut the program by $80 million. But the point, but we, we're now rebuilding it up. But imagine if the United States of America were known all over the world as the leader in, uh, in the fight in hunger and global, uh, global hunger and extreme poverty. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I had a radical idea. I think when people like you, they don't want to hurt you. And, you know, and, I don't know, maybe it's kind of simplistic, but it's just my approach on life. So I really do think that, you know, parents are the same everywhere. I don't care where you are. That you love your kids. You want, you want to protect your kids. And if you can't, and somebody comes and helps you find solutions to do that, you know, and I'm going to tell you, it's not only the right thing to do morally, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the drones and the wars. And, the, and, and you know what? The other thing 